Welcome back, Pez fans, to Game of the Week. We begin our odyssey in Italy. Napoli, to be exact. We'll kick things off in Naples as they host Juventus. Napoli currently share the top spot with both teams from Rome and Milan. Meanwhile, Juventus only have one point from two games. Are they getting used to life without Ronaldo? It doesn't seem like it's so far. As the does well to direct the traffic back onto Zielinski. He was on side. I don't think he was anticipating such a gift of a second chance. Now, it's Locatelli on the chest and he's filling it through to Aaron Ramsey. Here's a chance for Juventus. It's their first of the game and they've converted. The Welshman takes the lead for the old lady in Napoli. Secondary assist from the goalkeeper, Chesney. Locatelli comfortably collects with all the time in the world. And it's the pass of a lifetime to Aaron Ramsey. Swung in by Bentanka. Ramsey looking for his brace. Couldn't divert it on target. Ozyman back to Zielinski. Over the top looking for Lozano. Will always be a tricky volley from there. Luis buying his time, waiting for the overlap from Roy. Oh, and Chiellini almost scores an own goal. He has to thank his goalkeeper. Surely with a kiss on the arse cheeks. Incredible reflexes, the captain almost scoring a horrific own goal. Bintanka feeds from Quadrado. Ramsey gets it back from Dybala. Here's Dybala, and there is the second. And the Diego Maradona stadium is silenced. What midget from Argentina isn't compared to the legend the stadium is named thereafter? Pala de Bala didn't come close to matching Diego Maradona's legacy. But they'll take that one tonight, that's for sure. Ramsey into Bentanka. It's a direct hit at the keeper. Here's a chance for the Blues. Lozano to Rui, he's now Zielinski. Splits the play back to Lozano. Lozano across the physical and Ozyman has just tucked it in underneath the armpit of Chesney. We have a game on our hands just before half time. It's a counter of quality. Herbert Lozano across the face of goal and it's the easiest goal of a life for Ozyman. Zielinski will get noticed for a cross in and De Ligt almost troubles his own keeper as well as Chiellini. Lozano slams on the brakes. Oh, and he's fired it wide. It's a free kick for the European champion Insigne. Pulls it in. Ramsey gets it just before. Oh, and another man has converted. He's taken the deflection. He gets his place. Naples has turned nuclear. It's an equaliser, but it's almost as good as a match winner. Ten minutes into the start of the second half, and Napoli revert us all back to square one. Locatelli is going to get there first. Superb stop. Roy he ignores the overlap. He's going to go for it by himself. Was a man down with Chesney. Golden save from the pole. How did he keep this in? The bounce and everything. Surely were fought most goalkeepers of mere mortal capacity. Morata, Rabio, he's given the ticket to Kaya Jorge. It's all over, surely. With four minutes left of the game, it's the new boy who has just turned into the man. Juventus may have earned their first three points of the season. Thanks to the young man who set sail from Santos over the summer. It's the first loss for Napoli and the first victory for Juventus. It's Napoli 2, Juventus 3. The defending champions Bayern Munich are just two points shy of the top of the table after three games played. They are behind Wolfsburg who took three points from Leipzig last weekend. All eyes will be on the new Bavarian recruit Marcel Sabitzer. No sooner after leaving the central stadium, returns to Leipzig. He's into Danny Olmo. He's patiently picking out some space. And this violent deflection is captured by Neuer. Kimmich. 
Serge Gnabry. Oh, he takes a turn to wrap it around. Peter Galashi. Oh, my. It's into Andre Silva. He takes it way too early. Lookman looks up and switches the play to come. Andre Silva. Oh, he takes one from distance. Surely startling lawyer. And that we cuts inside Lyman. Lewandowski. So the power across from it. Lewandowski into the center and Sabitzer is there. To silence his former team. With his first goal in his first game for Bayern Munich. It wasn't a totally reserved celebration, mind you. The Austrian appears to have moved on. Lewandowski spreading the play to Leroy Sane. Stays on his feet and pins off a shot, but it's going to be pulled back. Odara snatching it across. Andre Silva can't meet up with it. And he's Janet Paulson. He turns and fires away. But it's well away. It's wide. Sonic floating one to Sabitzer at the far post. Koeman gives him a second chance. And he nearly comes to brace, but he's deflected by the crossbar. A delightful debut for the defector of Leipzig. It is RB Leipzig nil, Bayern Munich one. Lastly, we land in Portugal as the Lions of Lisbon host the Dragons of Porto. Two of the big three share spots number two in the table. Just two points behind leaders Benfica. It's a crunch game at the Estadio Jose Avalade Stadium. Porto's finest hour in recent years is the elimination of Juventus in last season's Champions League. Sporting will be keen to bounce back from a disappointing draw against Fomedical. Here is Eschayo. Released to the new boy Pablo Sarabia. Completes a small revolution against Pepe. And he's earned a free kick for his troubles. The Pablo Sarabia to take the free kick and oh it's gone in! Has marked his debut with his first goal for his new club. And it's thanks to an unhelping hand from Marchese. Surely we were in store for a competent save from the Argentinian. Augusto Marchese. Something spooks the goalkeeper along the way. Sarabia couldn't hit this any more directly. Marchesin slaps it away like a girl and backflips into the nets like a bitch in Spider-Man's web. Cabral dueling with Oliveira. Mendes back to Cabral. Surely he's asking for one across the middle in Sarabia. With a more convincing strike this time. No doubt about the validity of that one. He's claiming the first anyway, he's on his place. It's an easy night for the Spaniard from Paris Saint-Germain. Oliveira, still Oliveira, nice footwork from him to Raimi. To Raimi has found a way to pull Porto back into the game just before the break. Fantastic flair from Sergio Oliveira. Connects with the top of the dome of Taremi. Sarabia turning and looking up at Paulinho. Paulinho has the time to slam it past Marchese. And Sporting resume the two goal lead over the Dragons who are breathing everything but fire. They're sucking wind here at the Jose Estadio Avalade. It's a principal finish from Paulinho. Paulinho goes backwards towards Sarabia for support. He turns it back to Sarabia. And there it is. It's the big three, the hat trick. For Sporting, new playmaker. A dream debut for the Spaniard who crosses the border of Iberia into Portugal. Lisbon is his and it owes him a living. Nuno Santos, that is a beautifully weighted part of Suabia. Pepe 
We have the tackle of a generation. As Gaia is giving Diaz a race on the flank. Sarabia cuts inside. Polinia just gets the faintest of touches. And he can't follow up on the rebound either. A subtle cross from Sarabia. And the gentlest of headers from Paulinho could have changed it all. Porto have had goals poured on them. Here in Lisbon, while Diaz has just broken on through. Diaz across the face of goal. Evan Nielsen has rescued something. Sporting a still two goals to the good. That's what's important to remember, but Porto aren't going down without some kind of thrashing. Oh, Diaz has a chance here to reduce the deficit by one more! Brilliant save from Adan. Sensational performance from Sporting. It is Sporting 4, Porto 2, and Sarabia 3. Thank you, Pez fans, for your suggestions for this week's game of the week. Seville Barcelona almost made it, but it was suspended before the 11th hour. However, let's not waste time. Who do you think should feature on next week's episode of Game of the Week? Thank you for watching.